There it is, folks. Democrats are introducing a bill to change the name of the federal prison in Miami, Florida, to the Donald J. Trump Federal Correctional Institution. This is just days after the House GOP members offered a bill to rename Dulles Airport Trump International Airport. When you take a look at the legislation, let's pull it up right here. Let's take a look at what it says. It says a bill designation, the Miami Federal Correctional Institution in Florida shall, after the date of enactment of this act, be known and designated as the Donald J. Trump Federal Correctional Institution. B, reference. Any reference in any law, regulation, map, document, paper, or other record of the United States to the institution referred to in subsection A shall be considered to be a reference to the Donald J. Trump Federal Correctional Institution. Now, who's introducing this legislation from the uh, Democratic side? It is Representative Jerry Connolly from Virginia, whose district is actually where Dulles uh, International Airport is that the MAGA Republicans want to change and call Trump International Airport. And Connolly got the assist by our friend here at the Midas Touch Network, uh, Congress member Jared Moskowitz. So Connolly and Moskowitz introduced this bill. And as MAGA Republicans have accomplished absolutely nothing during this session of Congress, other than ousting their former Speaker of the House and trying to oust their current Speaker of the House, MAGA Mike Johnson, and always bringing our country on the precipice of either a default or the precipice of not being funded. And after quite literally relying on spies and foreign agents from China and the CCP, what the MAGA Republicans thought it would be a good idea to introduce a few days back before the Democrats introduced their version of the bill um, was uh, just to give propaganda to Donald Trump and to change the name of Washington Dulles's main international airport and rename it for Donald Trump. This was the Republican uh, resolution that they wanted to introduce. Seven Republican members uh, had introduced this, including Republican Congress member Guy Rashenthaler. And this is the Republican bill. That's why I'm glad that Democrats are standing up and introducing what it actually should be, uh, what actually should be named after Donald Trump, a federal prison. The Washington Dulles International Airport in Virginia shall, after the date of enactment of this act, be known and designated as the Donald J. Trump International Airport. Any reference in any law, regulation, map, document, paper, or other record of the United States to the airport referred in subsection A shall be considered to be referenced to the Donald J. Trump International Airport. Now, I think it's far more fitting to name a federal prison after Donald Trump. After all, he's been indicted four times, twice in federal court, two times in different state courts. And Donald Trump's been spending this past week attacking the justice's daughter who's presiding over uh, the New York criminal case against Donald Trump that's going to start on April 15th. Donald Trump reposting articles written by conspiracy theorists and extremist Laura Loomer over and over again to attack Justice Mershon's daughter. It's why I think a federal prison being named after Donald Trump is more apt. But Donald Trump was also making posts before the Democrats introduced their resolution uh, about how the uh, Dulles International Airport should look. And based on these MAGA Republicans introducing the resolution, Trump was spending all of his time posting things like this. Trump International, Washington Dulles Airport could be renamed. And Donald Trump posted another one. House Republicans pushed to rename the D.C. International Airport after Donald Trump. We've been covering this all here at MidasTouch.com. Hat tip to our editor-in-chief, Ron Filipkowski, who's been all over it. We did the story about Republicans filing a bill to rename Dulles after Donald Trump. 
Um, and then you had Democratic Congress member Connolly responded shortly thereafter. Um, and a statement that he made is that after Donald Trump was been has been charged for 91 felonies, it's absurd that the that this is what the MAGA Republicans are actually spending their time uh, doing. Um, but now Connolly and Moskowitz officially introducing the Democratic resolution uh, to name the federal prison after Donald Trump. Let me show you this from uh, a little bit ago. But this is Democratic Congress member Connolly in a brilliant line of questioning, highlighting how everything that the Republicans have accused Biden of doing, are actu which Biden did not do and are just unhinged conspiracies, are actually things that Donald Trump did. Here, play this clip. It's appropriate for the President of the United States to direct or otherwise influence a social media company to take down its content? I think it's a very slippery slope. Mr. Roth, Ms. Gaddy, Mr. Baker, any evidence that Joe Biden's ever done that? Certainly none that I'm aware of, no. I don't recall anything like that. I'm sorry, the, the, the President Biden did what, sir? Has Joe Biden ever called Twitter, to your knowledge, or his White House at his behest to take down content or urge you to take down content? I don't know the answer to that question, sir. Well, I, I'm going to have to conclude at least from three of the four. You don't know. There's no evidence he's ever done that. But there's plenty of evidence Donald J. Trump tried to do that. And um, if we're going to have a hearing about the misuse of social media, and the intrusion of government in the content on social media, we've got an environment-rich target, but it's not Joe Biden. It's Donald J. Trump, and of course, we don't want to talk about that. We don't want to talk about Russian bots and Russian fabrications using fake accounts on Twitter to a political purpose, and it's not to help elect Democrats. Um, and we don't want to talk about Four years of Donald Trump manipulating the truth and trying to manipulate social media and threaten it uh, or directly to try to shape it by taking down content because it was critical of him personally. Um, and that's what we ought to be talking about as we move forward, not the subject of today's hearing. I yield back. Good one. Hello, Midas Mighty. April is Earth Month, and I'm always on the lookout for ways to reduce my carbon footprint while making my own life more sustainable. I found an amazing food waste solution that has helped me reduce my carbon footprint by up to 127%. When food goes to landfills, it breaks down into methane, a greenhouse gas 80 times stronger than carbon dioxide. Why let all of that go to waste when you can make nutrient-rich plant food? That's why I'm so excited to have found Lomi. Now that I've invested in a Lomi, it's changed the way I deal with my food waste. In just four hours, it transforms almost anything you eat into nutrient-rich plant food at the push of a button. This week, Lomi took care of some leftovers from an Italian restaurant I forgot were in the back of my fridge. Now I no longer have to worry about food waste stinking up my kitchen. And as a bonus, I have a phenomenal fertilizer for my backyard. You should see it. All my food scraps, plant clippings, and even those stinky leftovers I forgot in the back of the fridge can go into my garden, helping me grow more nutritious food at home. I can't stress enough how much of a win-win Lomi is. It feels great to know that I'm creating Lomi Earth instead of waste. I have basically limitless supply of plant food for my garden, plus I'm helping save the planet. So whether you want to start making a positive environmental impact or just grow a beautiful garden, Lomi is perfect for you. Head to Lomi me l-o-m-i dot com slash midas m-e-i-d-a-s and use the promo code midas to get fifty dollars off your lomi that's fifty dollars off when you head to l-o-m-i dot com slash m-e-i-d-a-s and use promo code midas at checkout thank you lomi for sponsoring this episode i really do love my lomi so Connolly is one of the sponsors of this bill to rename the federal prison in Miami after Donald Trump. The other, of course, is our friend here on the Midas Touch Network, Democratic Congress member Jared Moskowitz. And uh, here is Congress member Moskowitz uh, talking about how 
Uh, Donald Trump prefers to cuddle with our nation's nuclear codes that he stole. Play this clip. You know, and all we want to do is go back to Trump. I mean, every hearing, it's like, ah, oh, just if we could just go back to what Trump did, you know, the loser of the 2020 election, the loser of the Georgia Senate races, the loser of the 2018 midterms. By the way, just to jog your memory, the Trump administration finalized more federal rules in the last year of its administration than any other final year of any presidency in American history, more than Obama. I know it's inconvenient timing, but perhaps we actually need more regulation with presidents taking nuclear codes and cuddling with them and showering with them in their homes. You know, I want to answer uh, the representative's question. And another brilliant moment where Democratic Congress member Moskowitz highlights the hypocrisy of MAGA Republicans came from this hearing right here where uh, Congress member Moskowitz also talks about Kushner. Play this clip. Heard a lot about the Bidens, the Bidens, the Biden family, Biden associates, right? Biden's plural, the S, what does the apostrophe mean? But not Joe Biden. Didn't hear a lot about Joe Biden. Why? Because he didn't do anything. This has nothing to do with him. You know, my colleagues talked about foreign countries, you know, foreign entities trying to make it all scary for the American people. Of course, President Trump got $5.4 million from the Chinese while he was president because they were leasing space in Trump Tower. He goes out and air kisses President Xi. Totally perfect. Jared Kushner gets $2 billion from the Saudis, even though he oversaw Mideast peace. Totally kosher. Ivanka Trump, you know, she's doing business with the Chinese while she's working in the White House. Totally beautiful. Right? Why do I bring that up? They want to say you have credibility. The problem is they have none. They have no credibility. And because you're here at their behest, their lack of their credibility questions your credibility. Take a look at this use of uh, the uh, chart by Congress member Moskowitz. Play this clip. Show you. It's a simple board, right? So all other presidents in the United States, 50% of the impeachments. Donald Trump, the other 50. Donald Trump has half of the impeachments in American history. But you know what? He's got 100% of the indictments. 100% of all indictments. Zero for the other presidents. Listen, I, let me do it another way. I want to channel my inner Tim Russert. So let me go to the board, right? And I don't have Florida, Florida. But Donald Trump impeachments. Oh, how many impeachments? We got two there. How many indictments? We got four. How many for Biden? Zero, zero. Donald Trump is right. I'm, he's sick of winning. He's just winning, running away with it. And that's why we're here. We're here because of math. That's what this is about. They can't save Donald Trump. They can't take away the two impeachments and the four indictments, but they can try to put some numbers on the board for Joe Biden. But the problem is when you sling mud, you got to have mud. And they just don't have anything, Mr. Chairman. So look, I, 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 we get it. We know why we're here. That's why they say the Biden family, the Bidens, James Biden, Joe Biden's dog commander, but, but not Joe Biden, never Joe Biden. So when are you going to have the vote on impeachment, Mr. Chairman? What are you scared of? Call the vote. Come on. If you all think there's so much evidence, we're here. Call the vote on impeachment. Impeach him right now. I dare you. Gentlemen, time's expired. Chair now recognizes. Uh, Mr. So, folks, will the federal prison be named after uh, Donald Trump in Miami? I just like this new group of Democrats pushing back, messaging, doing these types of things to bring attention to the absurdity of the MAGA Republicans. Tell me what you think in the comments below. But a federal prison being named after Donald Trump, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'd be more okay with it uh, when in, uh, he's found uh, criminally, uh, when he's held criminally accountable and is in one of those things, but baby steps. <laughs> Hit subscribe, let's get to 3 million subscribers together. Thanks for watching. Hey Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.